YouTube, Rook here from Rook Geek Goodness, my little channel on the web for all things geeky and cool. On this video, guys, we have another action figure review. We're going to be looking at the Walmart WWE Mattel SummerSlam 2017 exclusive Seth Rollins figure Elite Class. Now, this looks to be a really, really cool figure. Playing around with this figure early before shooting, I see good points and bad points of this figure. Of course, this is how he was portrayed back in 2017 SummerSlam when he was tag team champs with Dean Ambrose prior to Dean Ambrose's injury and soon character change as happened in 2018. Now there were four figures available in this exclusive way for the SummerSlam releases. You had Edge, Matt Hardy, Seth Rollins, and Dean Ambrose. So I want to do a full breakdown and comparison of this figure. I want to look at the paint, the articulation, and accessories. And at the end of that video, when going through the comparison, I want to comparison this with the 2015 Seth Rollins, 2016 Seth Rollins, and 2017 Seth Rollins, the figure you see right here. And ask the big question to you, the viewer, if you had to buy one figure of those three, which one would you buy? Stay tuned, guys. We're going to a breakdown. All right, guys, we're in a breakdown segment looking at the Walmart WWE SummerSlam 2017 Seth Rollins Burn It Down Exclusive Elite Collection figure. And the very first thing we always do in our breakdown segment is look at the packaging as a whole. Uh, this is your standard window box display that you would see for all Elite Class figures for WWE. At the top here, we have the SummerSlam logo. I'll go down a little further so you can see on this side right here, we have Seth Rollins listed. You have a little red uh, print right here. It talks about the accessories. We have him in his vest, of course, and the Tag Team Championship belt here. I would say this is an accessory, but the vest itself, I really wouldn't call that an accessory per se. All the Elite Class figures, Elite Collection, all have a vest. The basic ones usually don't have a vest, so if everyone's curious, that's the reason why. Down here, you have the orange packaging, you have Elite Collection. At the top, you have Elite Collection as well. On the side, you have a shot of him in his burn it down look, sort of side shot. On this side here, you have Seth Rollins, Elite Collection over here. And on the back, you have a picture of him holding the championship tag team belt. You have a little bit of a write up here. I'll put my finger down so you can see it here in black and white going down sort of the spine, and I wouldn't say the spine, but an angle here. Just about his, a little bit of bio, his weight, where he comes from, and his finishing move. At the bottom here, you have a listing of all figures that were available in this particular wave. You had Edge, you had Matt Hardy version one, of course you have Seth Rollins and Dean Ambrose. So that being said, let's actually get Seth Rollins out of packaging to continue the breakdown. All right, guys, we have the WWE Mattel SummerSlam 2017 Walmart exclusive Seth Rollins out of packaging. The Burn It Down outfit, I think is what they're calling it now. It is black and red deco. So the very first thing we always do when we take a figure out of packaging is look at the paint and presentation. This figure is black and red, as I mentioned, throughout the entire figure. This is, again, I mentioned his Burn It Down outfit. And the deco and design looks really good. I like how this figure looks. The biggest negative to me, in my personal opinion, is just this right here, his head sculpt. This head sculpt to me, in my personal opinion, does not cut it. With all the Seth Rollins figures that come out, both basic class and elite class, this head sculpt here does not cut the mustard. This is not up to scratch. This is nowhere near the 2015, let alone the 2016 SummerSlam Seth Rollins, or the then now and forever Seth Rollins for elite class. This figure's head is horrible, in my personal opinion. Now, as I mentioned, the, the uh, design and the Aesthetic looks really good for this figure. So let's actually look at the articulation of this figure as a whole. The head itself can spin 360 with no issues. Uh, the arms themselves can go 360 at the actual shoulders. It, it is a ball joint. You can spin the arm 360 at the bicep. The whole arm will spin as you see me doing here. Both arms will do that. He has a single jointed elbow right here. He has 360 on the wrist and you can bend 360 on the wrist as well. A lot of articulation on on the top portion of the Seth Rollins figure. Uh, he does have an ab crunch. He can spin 360 at the waist. You will get the weird cut in the articulation. If you spin it 360 and it doesn't match up, you will see this weird bulge here on the waist. Most action figures do that. Uh, if you were curious, you can remove the vest here. I'm not gonna take it all the way off. He does have that tattoo that he's mentioned throughout his entire career on all of his figures, but putting this vest on and off is extremely, extremely difficult. So I'm just going to kind of leave it as 
is, but it is removable. They count it as another accessory. To me, I don't really count it as another accessory. All the elite class figures of Seth Rollins, with the exception of the basic SummerSlam 2015, which I think might have come out at Walmart, has the full outfit like you see this one right here. And we do a full comparison between the 2015, 2016, and this figure here. Now, going down to the bottom of the figure, his legs, you can get a decent kick out of him, as you can see me doing right here. This is about the furthest you can get. We actually get his leg a little higher, so he gets a really, really good kick. He can spin 360 at the actual, uh, I guess we call it the thigh here. Um, at, at, yeah, at his thigh, he does spin 360. He does have double jointed knees. You'll see a peg point right here and a peg point further down. So he does have double jointed knees. Most of the Seth Rollins figures that are elite class are double jointed there. It had to be a double joint, double knee joints. He does have 360 spinning at the actual calf now. So you had thigh 360, calf 360. The foot is the big weakness on this figure. I see there is a joint here, as I'll kind of get it on the camera. There is a joint as you can see. But I can't break this joint in. I don't want to push it too far because I don't want to snap the joint off. That to me is a bad negative of this figure. Um, I wish I could actually get it to bend the feet, but I can't. So I'm going to have to ding the figure, so to speak, and take it away, take value away from that figure. Just because this came right out of packaging and these joints should be bendable. I'm not sure of the reason why they're not. They can rock a little bit from side to side. But I tell, you can tell especially in the back of the foot, you see the joint right there. This foot should bend back and forth and I can't get it to bend. Maybe some hot water would break that joint in, but I'm not going to do anything with that right now. I wanted you to see it right out of the packaging. Another accessory besides the vest, they call the vest is an accessory, is his tag team belt. This is the belt he held with Seth Rollins. This is the raw tag team title. This is what it would look like. Looks pretty good. I mean, if you put it around his waist, I don't want to really, I mean, you can snap it in place so you can kind of see what it will look like around his waist. Most of my Seth Rollins figures, I usually put it over the shoulder. Older. I normally display it like this. That's just how I normally display my figures. But I think it's an okay figure. Is it not? Is it the greatest Seth Rollins figure? No, it's not. But it is pretty good. Um, again, I have to take points away just on all Seth Rollins figures, just because the pegs on the back of the vest are really tricky to push it back in. And once you've taken this vest off, you've got to really work the material, that rubber material, to get it back in position. But he does have the Seth Rollins, if you're curious, he does have the Seth Rollins logo on the back of the vest as well. I don't know if anyone else has reviewed that sort of thing. But he does have the, it's a small version of the Seth Rollins logo on the back. Now, let's actually bring the other Seth Rollins figures. I said I was going to do a comparison between all three of them. Here is the 2015 SummerSlam Seth Rollins and the 2016 SummerSlam Seth Rollins. So we have all three of the last years, three years of SummerSlam, 15, 16, and 17. And I don't know why Mattel didn't use this head sculpt on this figure. That to me is a huge misstep. This, I would say, trumps all three figures. If you just look at the head sculpt alone, is a real dynamite head sculpt. It looks just like Seth Rollins. They, you know, they did the face scanning technology. This to me, this the burn it down one doesn't look traditionally like Seth Rollins. It looks sort of like him, but not really much like him compared to, let's say, the 2016 version. Version. If they would have removed his head or duplicated his head on his body, I think this would have been really, really good. So imagine his head on this body, the burn it down outfit, I think would have been a smarter idea in my personal opinion here. Now, gun to the head sort of idea for everyone. If you had to pick one of these three figures, which one would you buy? In my personal opinion, again, gun to the head, you had to pick one, this one right here. Making the assumption they all cost the same amount of money, go with the 2016 Seth Rollins. SummerSlam, skip the 2017 in my personal opinion, mainly because the joints in the feet and that head sculpt. With that being said, let's go to final thoughts and wrap up this video. Alright guys, final thoughts on the Walmart WWE Mattel SummerSlam 2017 Seth Rollins Elite Class figure. This is a good figure, mind you. Not a great figure. This is a good figure. I had really two bad points with this figure, which I talked about in the breakdown. The foot pegs on this one, the foot joint itself, is extremely tight. I could not bend the feet. I didn't want to push the figure to a point where I might break that joint. I think maybe putting some warm water on it might break that joint in, but that to me is a negative point. 
The joints should not be so stiff that you can't pose this figure out of the box. Mind you, I just played with this figure a little bit right out of the packaging, and the joint is extremely, extremely tight on the feet. The next bad point, and this is the make or break on my personal opinion, is this horrible face sculpt. This head sculpt here is horrible. Why they picked that head sculpt as opposed to these two right here, I don't know. And you have a lot of other Seth Rollins face sculpts you could have used. This face sculpt is horrible. They should not have used this face sculpt, especially with new face scanning technology. They should have used the 2016 SummerSlam Seth Rollins. If they would have taken this head sculpt right here, the Tron outfit head sculpt, and put it on this figure, the burn it down outfit would be trumping both these two figures. But beside that point, if you ask me, gun to the head, which of the three figures would I buy if they were the same price? I saw all three on the exact same shelf. Which one would I buy? Gun to the head sort of idea? It'd be the 2016. It would be this figure right here, the Tron outfit SummerSlam Seth Rollins. Skip this figure. Don't buy this figure if you can get this one. If you can't get this one, get the White Ranger one. This will come in the third. Again, this is a good figure, not a great figure. So that being said, definitely click that like button. I hope you like this review of the 2017 SummerSlam Seth Rollins Elite Class figure. Definitely click that like button. Always click subscribe, which is a picture of my face. Also, I haven't talked about it a whole lot, but here's my P.O. Box. If you want to send anything for me to review, fan art, action figure stuff, send it my way. Also, I haven't really even discussed it on my actual channel that much, especially my wrestling reviews. I actually host a podcast with another YouTuber named Collecting and Hobbies. Him and I put a podcast out about twice a month. We handle WWE stuff. We talk New Japan. We talk Ring of Honor. He handles the WWE side. I handle all the independent. And the link is right here. Definitely take a look at it. It is a podcast. I'll put the description in, this, in the video box, description box of this video. And I hope you enjoy it. We actually have a lot of fun doing it. And definitely keep your eye on the SummerSlam podcast of that channel only because it's going to be a massive giveaway we're doing. And I hope you definitely like that video, definitely click Windows over here to watch more of my content. Take care, guys. I'll see you next video, and bye-bye.